Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Mayhem, a hostile work environment. Directed by Joe Lynch, starring Steven Yun, which most people know as Glenn from The Walking Dead, and Samara Weaving, who you probably know as B from The Babysitter. This movie is about a law firm that's under quarantine because there's a viral outbreak and the virus makes people go rabid and act on their wildest instincts, whether that's having sex with each other or brutally murdering each other. And after losing his job, Derek decides to take full advantage of the situation and get revenge on his co-workers. So what do we like? I like the concept of this movie. If you guys have seen Belko Experiment, it's very similar where you just have a lot of people in an office environment. There's a time limit and they have that much time to basically kill each other. And that's exactly what happens here. And it's fun, it's relatable, it's an upbeat kind of movie. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a horror movie, but it's definitely a genre film of some sort. Yeah, the film is graphic in nature just because of how violent it is. And because of that, I actually enjoy how the characters develop because it's just one of those like dark humors where you find something so morbid like a secretary running around and killing someone with a stapler so hilarious because you don't see it all the time. And that's what makes it funny. The production value of this movie is very high. I loved all of the camera work. I thought the cinematography in this movie was amazing. Like the opening scene of the movie basically sets the bar for like the artistic nature that you're gonna get from this film because it is a pretty like standard plot. A person needs to get from this floor to the penthouse to seek revenge. But like they use so many different interesting shots that you're just always going to be captivated by what's going on. I absolutely love the acting in this film. I felt our two leads, Derek and Melanie, did a great job playing off of one another. What did you expect? The Dave Matthews band? Hey. Dave Matthews Band is actually a Other way, asshole, go turn around. Yep, you got it. <clears throat> they just seem very natural with each other, given the situations that they're in. Plus, they were really badass. Like, there was like no holds barred with these people. They were going all out and they knew it. Nail gun, handsaw, let's just do it all and kill anyone in our way. Like, they just had nothing to lose and their characters were just the most entertaining. And when they started fighting and everything, the stunt choreography was excellent too, which is coupled with the cinematography, right? Like the way that everyone was just like running around fighting, especially when you have like our leads facing off like a group of people. It's very high impact. I think most of the stunts were done by the lead actors. And it was just really cool. I liked seeing everybody kick the shit out of each other. And like people just going nuts in an office building. Like you, even like just from one-off jokes, like a girl sitting on a like a photocopier. There's a lot of throwbacks to other movies. We even have like a, a half-baked reference in the back. <laughs> and there's probably like a ton of little Easter eggs from all types of different movies that I might not have caught, but uh, if you've caught any, let us know in the comments. Now let's move on to our dislikes. I think the biggest dislike I have is a story plot with the idea that there is no consequences. Yes, I get Derek is supposed to be seen as the good guy, but he's killing more than anyone in this building. And the same with like Melanie, it's like, they're just killing people for the sake of killing people. Right, because they know, and especially like Derek is a lawyer who won a case saying like, hey, if you're infected by this virus, you can get off scot-free. And they're definitely just taking advantage of that. It doesn't show them as like great people. It's just like, oh, just because you can get away with it doesn't mean you should do it, right? Like, so they just basically like threw their morals out the door, whether there was gonna be a virus or not. I think they both would have just snapped and killed a bunch of people anyway, which makes them actually assholes. And murderers, they're stone cold killers. <laughs> and no one's doing anything to stop them. And the audience is led to believe that they are the heroes. The redders, as they call them, which is this virus that infects their eyes to show they have one red eye. Everyone in this office is infected, but not everyone is rabid. And that is a real big problem. <laughs> because like, why should only like five people be like loose cannons and 200 people just be in the background? Yeah, like some people are just like throwing paper on their desks <laughs> or like just so sick of their file folders that they're just throwing them over the balcony. Like, That's who we should be rooting for. Like, I hope they don't die because they're doing absolutely nothing wrong. Maybe they'd get fired at some point, but. Yeah, but like not over the people <laughs> murdering each other. Yeah. They do establish that this virus will make you savage, but throughout this film, Derek's in control. Like he's not a wild boy. No, not at all. He knows exactly what the hell he's doing and he's plotted his way to the top and wants to murder everybody. <laughs> there were points in this where there was a little too much like business jargon 
that kind of went over my head. Maybe not business jargon per se, but like because they're at a law firm, they talk about different people's cases and the hierarchy and people who would deal with certain lawsuits and all this kind of stuff. And they use a lot of words in quick succession that you're not going to be able to follow what the hell they're talking about before they move on to the next room and talk about some other bunch of nonsense. It's not that important to the plot, but it just kind of felt like a lot of filler and exposition that would all go over almost everybody's head unless you're a lawyer. So I don't know why they included it. Little nitpicky. There are a couple of scenes where I wish we saw the other side of the, the interaction between some characters. There are some major kills in this movie that are done off screen and you're only left with the reaction shot. For a film that's basing off of being so graphic and violent, it's not as violent as you think it would be. There's a lot of off-screen kills, and most of the time it's just punches and kicks. And then maybe you'll brutally die? There is blood, for sure, but like, not as much as you'd think when there's 50 people dying. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Mayhem is a pretty enjoyable film. If you've seen Belko Experiment, it's very similar, but I liked Belko a lot more. I enjoyed our characters, I enjoyed the cinematography, and I thought everything was pretty well done, except for some reason I just didn't have the best time watching it, and I don't know, I can't pinpoint why. Perhaps it was a little slow at points, or maybe it took a little bit too long to get into things, I'm not too sure, but I just wasn't completely blown away by it, but it's still a good movie. So I'm gonna give this three and a half bomb ass secretaries out of five. This film is a concept that is coming up more and more these days in cinema. I loved the characters in this film, and I loved how they developed an act, and it was a beautiful film, but the story was just missing something to keep me engaged. I felt that it lacked consequences. And though we're watching a film and the whole purpose is violent, raging employees trying to kill each other, you still need some form of innocence there to relate and feel with the characters. And I felt that this film dropped all of that and you had nothing to play off of when it came to Derek maintaining his morals. The film itself is fun and I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy it because it's just hilarious watching people in these workplace situations just attack each other. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film three bomb ass artworks out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you haven't and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath and beyond.